Hello everybody and welcome back to Agaloo. Welcome actually to the continuation of the Amphis Marvel League Marvel Race Rider, excuse me, not Marvel League. The Amphis Marvel Race Story, Season 2 Edition. And Amphis Ming is here and today, well, the morality meter comes back as as I said, said we're gonna go over the story events from season two. Who from the preseason all the way to Team Teal's victory lap. Lap, so if you haven't saw season, if you haven't seen season two, well, there's your spoiler right now. Now, sorry. Sorry. But for people who have watched season two, well, that's not much of a spoiler now, is it? But anyways, today, season two's story here. And if you need a quick recap cap on what season one story had, basically seven marbles. Marvels are evil or an antagonistic. Like with Team Purple being the leader of the evil team after usurping Magenta and Silver, the original antagonist. Yes. And then we have the six good Marvels led by Lime. And then three Marvels that did not really make up their mind. Red, Orange, and Cyan. However, the rest of the season, the rest of the season two cast is now joined in in, in the ring of the new, new season. And so, without further ado, do let's get started. <clears throat> the season two story, like season one, starts off starts off in the preseason after a spring and a start of summer that has been filled with ridiculousness. Twelve new marbles enter the fray, fray, and the good and evil teams alike had to adjust on a fly, fly to the influx of new marbles. Well, immediately, Goldenrod, the winner of the of the newcomers versus the veterans race, race in season two, to immediately notice something off. Off, maybe it's the aura. Or the evil team, maybe it's because thirteen marbles already charged next, or whatever. But uh, even though as they manage to scurry off into the wind, they notice that something just wasn't quite right. All right. So enter the season two premiere. Premiere, premiere. On both team teams, both evil and good, antagonistic and protagonistic, decided to start. Start recruiting new marbles right away. Hey, and wouldn't you guess it with Sion fine with Sion hitting rock bottom, getting dead last. And on this marble race race, Purple saw an opportunity of sorts to try to corrupt the Sion Teal Hill connection. So after I told off Sion venomously about 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 her being lucky that there are rejoins in season two. To purple to approach Siam with a deal. Deal. Well, the premise of the deal was team up with us, and you can finally try to get your way to a championship. Of course, si of course, or Siam was kind of skeptical, but but instead of just outright, outright denying her like her previous incarnations, and Siam just completely broken by bad results, told Purple. Oh, basically, well, I'm not really interested at the moment, but I'm not going to decline your offer either, so I'm just going to think about it. To which Purple was like, okay, fair enough, you can think about it, that's fine. I mean, that's all fine and dandy. Teal did not like that too much, and even though Teal herself did not join Lime's team, because who really wants who really wants to put up with Lime? Like, seriously. Like, Teal... Teal did let Cyan kind of have it for being dead last, last so quickly. Meanwhile, though, Yellow managed, Yellow, however, managed to convert her dark yellow to the evil side, side, right, whereas a couple of our marbles, marbles went the other way. Wait, those mar, those marbles, marbles in particular, are just the gold marbles, goldish and goldenrod. Rod, because even Goldish agreed with Goldenrod that something wasn't quite right. We are now at eight aside. As the season progressed, things just started getting more and more and more ridiculous. To the point where 
or the yin yang duo, black and white, decided to inevitably split ways. Ways. Black had headed to the evil side after episode 3, and white followed suit. Suit. Who as well. 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 Heading into the first rejoin, join Simon was still comp completely in the dumps. Um, purple. Purple went, went over to check on Cyan and see if she was interested, but Teal was not having any of it. She basically she basically told told Purple to screw off, and which Purple's like, Hey, I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to Cyan. I'm not talking to you. you know, and Teal just basically, just basically said, Whatever. Whatever. See if I care. Well, again, Teal did not join the good side, side but she was not very happy. So Purple asked Cyan again, and Cyan was still kind of unsure. Sure, but Cyan basically said, said, If I make it for the second rejoin, join, I'll join you. you know, to which Purple's like, that's fair enough to me. I mean, suffice to say, say Teal was not happy that Cyan was, was, was willing to sell out. Much like the Houston Astros, Cyan was willing to sell out, out and join the evil side, just to get a taste of championship glory, no matter how tainted it may be. To which Teal was like, like, are you crazy? And to which Science said to Teal, Teal, yes, sister, yes, I am crazy, because I am so sick and tired of being the laughing stock of the Amphis Marvel Race community. The shit has to change now. No. No. To which Teal actually kind of agreed. But during this mess, mess Daniel and Olive overheard the two sisters fighting and said, Yeah, you know what? We're going to join the evil side. side and I didn't just get it over with. So that makes it L. So that makes it 11 to just 9. However, however, Orange thought that that was enough. Now, if Orange joined the good side after almost... After a season of further debate, bringing it to 11 versus 10. And leaving us with just uh, seven marbles that have yet to choose the side. Right. As we went through the sec second bit of the season in episodes 6 through 10, and into the Memorial Edition, and Dark Orange finally decided, decided you know what, I'm just going to spite my, my, my bri brighter cousin and go over to the evil side. I right, making it twelve to ten. And Sky and Night Sky did not like like that though, so both of them them headed to the good side. Side to see what they can and do. Who to try to help out. Now it's twelve all. Now there's only four marbles that have yet to choose a side. So at the end of the at the end of episode ten with both Cyan and Teal Teal well, up for or rejoin. I mean, I mean, Red and Maroon both agreed on one thing. They cannot be in the center of this, so they so they cannot be he swayed away. So they so they both decided to join the good side. So it's fourteen to twelve. However, that came with a big asterisk. It's during the season two two final rejoin, silver Silver, under the request of her mistress, corrupted Grey over to the evil side. Right, because let's face it, that was just going to happen anyway. So now we have our first evil versus good conflict. Right, and the scales are tipped to 14 versus 12. Well, but however, both Cyan and Teal managed to make it through. Cyan, true to her word, word did join up with Purple well, at the end of the rejoin. All right, this just leaves Teal. Teal. Before Teal could go over to the good side, Cyan, Cyan, Cyan basically said to Purple, well, hey, if I'm gonna, hey, if I'm gonna draw, draw him, how about you corrupt my sister, or so that way we can be together her all around, round, and we can both help you out, out in terms of growing your empire. To which Purple obliged I should even give Cyan the ability to corrupt Teal, you know, and bring her over to the evil side, re reuniting the two, two who under the leadership of Purple. Well, 
It is now 17 to 11. No neutral marbles left at this point. As we made our way through to the quarterfinal, final, final the two sides has really got got itching for fights. Fights to the point where Tan Tan was also taken out by I in Purple's army, bringing it to 18 versus 10. And let me fix this a little bit here. There we go. Oh. oh, the good side just couldn't break through through purple purple's defenses, and purple was just e easily able to go through them like they were nothing more than switch cheese in their little brains. So when we arrived at the semifinal, finals good good side side was like like okay, this isn't gonna really work out for us. That's, and they were proven right as they lost us the final two marbles of the entire season. Season red and maroon. Maroon as they flipped over to the evil side, making it twenty. Making it eight. Eighteen versus ten officially. Well, yeah, it was probably sixteen versus twelve for my mistake. Right, but yeah, sixteen versus twelve turned to eighteen versus ten. And the last strange of hands in the entire season. And, and Lion was starting to lose hope. Because they had not only lost several of their own marbles that joined throughout the course of the season. They also had to deal with both Cyan and Teal being lured away by the forces of, forces of evil. Oh. Oh. And that's to prove that the deal that the deal Cyan made still has to wait a little bit, bit to be processed. And Cyan, Cyan kept up her legacy of failure by finishing in third place, as would be knocked out in the second last leg of the entire season. And setting up, up a battle between Purple, the season one defending champion, and Teal. You you all know how the story ends. And, and Purple, Purple in a way of testing her loyalty. Testing Teal's loyalty to her, her purposely gave Teal a head start just to see, see just how loyal Teal can be, and to see if Teal Ill can carry on the legacy of evil whole season winners. Teal did just that, that winning the final leg thirteen to nine, purposely letting Purple come back into the race a little bit, but in order to prove prove this Purple, hey. Hey, I'm loyal to you, but I'm but I also know know where my place is, so that's why I let you come back into it. And Pur purple liked this a lot, a lot. And alongside side the Ultra Patriots, Magenta and Silver, purple purple then asked Teal during the victory lap to be her new second in command. Man, of course, alongside side the old old antagonist, Magenta and Silver, Teal unsurprisingly accepted. And, and so while Team Teal was taking their victory lap, and Teal was sitting pretty, pretty in her little champions bowl, bowl, well, she was just uh, filled with, of adulation, and and just plain happiness, knowing that she not only made her mistress proud, but that her loyalty has been proven, proven, and that she was able to rise to, through the ranks. Thanks. Thanks to the, the Purple's team, and as the years and as the off se as season two off season and transitioned into the new year of twenty twenty one, one the the one and only only off season change happened, and both Goldish and Goldenrod Rod were then corrupted by by Cyan and Teal, Teal bring them over to the evil side. And ending, and ending the rosters right there with twenty on the evil side, and just eight marbles left on the good side. With Lime being as distraught as ever, ever, and the, and the evil side being like, like, oh, oh, goody, goody, we can finally take these, these goody, goody two shoes out. Except it was for the fact that season three would bring in twelve new marbles for both for her both sides to worry about. about. and not only that, but they were transparent marbles, meaning that they would be influenced depending on which side side of the meter you see on screen, 
and they would be. So both sides have to be extremely careful. Oh, but in any case, that that concludes this the tale of the season two story. All right, as a lot as a lot built up from season one, carried over for season two, two, and it even features the fall fall of the two marbles that were originally the main protagonist of the Cyan Model Race. Cyan was the original protagonist before being corrupted by Magenta. Teal would, if the Cyan Model Race actually made it through the second season, Teal would take over and then eventually would get corrupted as well. Well, not only by Magenta, but also having some assistance from her sister Cyan. And yes, Teal is unfortunately the, sis- the sister to Lil Cow. At least Teal won a championship so that way she could distance herself from his science putrid legacy. But that's another tale but that's another tale for another video. Video. Probably not another video, but I'm just saying in general. That's just a story for another time. But but with all that out of the way, that does conclude the season two story. Alright, the good side is not looking good. Let's just put it that way. Hey, when you have only eight members versus the evil team's twenty. Only right, there is a problem, a very big problem. Will season three change anything for the good guys? Probably not. No, I'm just gonna be honest right now. Probably not. Uh, and I know a lot of you are probably screaming at the screen right now, say, saying, "You are you wrote the story, Amethyst. You know how this story is gonna go. So why are you trying to be all coy?" You want to know why I'm try- trying to be all coy? Oh, because I don't want to spoil anything. I don't want to spoil all the story, okay? Hey, leave me be, please. But yeah, that does conclude today's video. And now the story is all caught up, caught up in, into the upcoming season three. So, yay! Hey, hey about time. Hey, only took me... Only took me like a year and a half to get the story all caught up, but here we are. Alright. Anyways, if you like if you like this video, hit hit the like button down below, com- comment and if you have any questions about the story, story if you or if you have anything to say, and if you're new new consider subscribing, you know, it's free. Free. Hit the little bell too in case you want to be informed of any new videos that are coming out, which Quite a few might be coming out soon because of the season because of season three starting up and maybe some open R C T two on the side as well. Well, anyways, thank you all for watching and we will see you for the season three premiere at an Amethyst Marvel race. Anyways, take care guys. Ciao.